Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Israel making a new push for a ceasefire deal with Hamas. His visit comes as Hamas is pushing back on the current ceasefire proposal, accusing Netanyahu of obstructing the deal. Foreign correspondent Britt Clinton joins me now from Tel Aviv, Israel. Uh, Britt, what's the latest there? Secretary of State Antony Blinken now meeting with the hostage families amid this rally outside where people are holding American flags and screaming SOS. USA. They're saying that Blinken should save them, that it's time to strike a deal to get their hostages home. And Blinken very much here on a mission to get a deal over the line, saying Biden has sent him to do just that, that this is a decisive moment in negotiations, uh, and that this might be the last opportunity to get the hostages home and strike a deal that would also end the suffering in Gaza. Let, uh, even just today, 25 people killed in Gaza as the suffering there uh, gets worse and worse by the day. And what we're seeing, though, is a lot of optimism from the Biden administration, and it's not necessarily reflected by Hamas or Israel after the talks in Doha ended without a major breakthrough. And the U.S. proposal that's on the table, that's a bridging proposal, that was rejected by Hamas, which argues that uh, Netanyahu is adding on more conditions, adding more uh, hurdles to this, including uh, rejecting a permanent ceasefire in Gaza. Netanyahu, for his part, is saying that it's complex, saying that his approach is give and take, not just give and give. And there is heightened security here, too, after police say there was a failed uh, terrorist attack last night here in Tel Aviv. Hamas and Islamic Jihad have claimed responsibility for that and promised that there is more to come. So certainly officials here uh, are on heightened alertness, carrying out extensive searches here in Tel Aviv. And the people we speak to here are just hoping that Blinken can bring a deal about and get their people home, as well as end the suffering in Gaza too, Diane. All right, Brick Clinton there in Tel Aviv, Israel.